how's it going everybody so here's another video for you guys today this one's gonna be about basically mental equipment I can't get it out correctly sorry basically I'll explain to you the general 101 on how their brain learn how their brain thinks and when it actually when it learns how the brain you know interacts you guys or how the what happens in their brain basically I'm gonna go over that briefly and then before that and then after that I'm gonna be able to explain to you this concept called mental equipment and how it can benefit you in your life okay so basically the brain has to form neural pathways in order to learn anything uh, each nucleus in the brain basically forms forms out I guess the dendrites in the or the brain or I guess the neuron whatever the cell has to basically form connections between everything and these connections basically are when the dendrites would shoot off from the brain or from the nucleus or the area of the cell and forms another pathway and each time you you say you do the same tasks there's gonna be a stronger pathway stronger connection so for the most part you can't learn unless you repetition or have a pattern that you can rely that you can rely upon to pull from another area say that you mastered physics now you can go into other areas in life and then pull back that physics knowledge from your patterns and your dendrites and you're able to you know say that guy tell you you can learn it on the on the fly just like that quickly because you had the knowledge anyway whenever you have a strong enough connection it becomes a double dendrite or double bonded dendrite which is the strongest connection you can have and this is going to be equating to basically your your brainstorming this as a motor skill so you're now you're not just recalling information it's a part of your just like moving an arm is innate you're able to move you're able to recall this knowledge because your brain has stored it like like the alphabet you can recall the alphabet upon as a basic building block and the way you talk and the way you you hear words or the way you process the way you hear words or even different languages the alphabet there is a the core essential and once you have most people in the world have I guess I would say double double bonded dendrite when it comes to that area that they have a, such a strong recollection of it they can just easily bring it back of course most uh, started from kids you know most people can do that anyway when it comes to mental equipment though here's the important takeaway you're not able to a lot of times if something new is encountered your brain has never formed the pathway to this new area or this new place it's not going to be able to understand or cope on the first day so say you go <clears throat> onto a baseball field you see guys hitting sluggers and you're trying to hit the same you know you're just there's just a limit to how fast your brain will be able to form a pathway it takes time so you can't just wake up one day and say I'm a really big the best baseball player there is and go out there and then do sheer effort you, even if you try the hardest you can you still you still need time to form these pathways so a lot of times if you in that area in life you got to understand that it's just your brain if you see something new or that puzzles you anything in life that puzzles you or leaves you like you know seeing the first time you ever seen this scenario now you're like man what do I do it's only because you haven't formed any pathways or any kind of bonds between that this area that you're of life or a subject of life topic of life that you're trying to encounter and accomplish all right so then basically I'll break down to you the core essential takeaway of what I want you to understand from this imagine if I give you a spoon and tell you to dig a hole the size of an acre and I tell you uh, just do it as fast as you can and you know anything I can do to help that's well I guess you know, just let me know anyway I gave two guys I, sorry I should say two guys are getting this spoon maybe it'll make more sense alright the first guy he decides okay great this spoon to dig an acre I'll be here forever you know so he toils away you know little a little you know he's toiling away at this this uh this this 
I guess project he has to work on. But you know, it's taking forever with the spoon. We all know that. He knows that. That's why he's sitting there. With, you know, he's he's feeling kind of the dread of that, doing all of that. You know, he's taken away from the way he's, he's like, oh man, I'm just going to have to do here. Hammer out with hours. I'm going to put my hours in here. I'm going to come out here maybe with this spoon. And then just, you know, I have a lot of time. I'll just keep keep coming at it every day. All right, so this first guy, he's working hard with this little spoon. Second guy, he's working, he's not quite working as hard because, you know, I guess he's at the same time, he sees it as a challenge and he wants to dig his, his hole, you know, as quick, as easy as can be or as best or efficient as possible. So after about a week of digging with this, this spoon, he decides, man, wouldn't it be easier if I went and got a shovel? Or it somehow had some sort of shovel. So, before you know it, he creates a shovel by actually maybe either with tools he found lying around, or you know he he looked up online on how to create a shovel, which I'm pretty sure will be everywhere on Google if you even nowadays if you wanted to do that. That's a pretty reasonable assumption. Anyway, so he pulls together some of his you know, resources and he makes a shovel. So now he's digging a little quicker. Yeah, it'll still take him forever, though. But, you know, better than the spoon. You look at the first guy, he's still toiling away with the spoon. And he even if questioned on his task, he didn't want to answer the question because he just knew the dread the dread of the task just w didn't want him. He didn't want to do anything. He just kind of shut down and said, this, this is never going to get done. I'm just going to be here all day. Oh, well, keep the same spoon going. And the second guy, though, he... He's looking at it a bit differently, you know. It's about, you know, the equipment he's using. Okay, so it's true. Before long, these two guys converge. Maybe the first guy decided that he's better. He'd be better off if he had some, maybe some other equipment. Maybe he sees the first guy with the shovel. He might think it's unfair, of course, that he has a shovel. And he's like, "What? How can he has a shovel? That's not fair. All I have is this spoon." But it doesn't matter what you're granted with. It matters what you what you end up with or what you end up you know doing to try to fix the problem. Before you know it, these two guys are toiling away. The second guy, you know, somehow pulls together enough of his knowledge and enough of his you know he puts together a lot of money. I guess not a lot of money actually, but for the most part knowledge because they're not giving any money. They're just telling them to make this whole you know you know basically this guy first guy anyway. Second guy sorry the search. He wants to actually make an excavator. You know, he puts it in the work. He looks in all the he looks at all the articles. He can. He learns as much as he can about it. He reads as many books as he can about it. Before you know it, he creates an excavator. And now he's digging this acre hole. You know, it may have took him the first you know six months or whatever it took him to toil away at it with whatever equipment he had. It took him. It may have took him six months, but the rest of it with the excavator was a cinch. You know, he was done. The last the last acre of the hole was. A chump, a chump change almost at that point. Well, the first guy is still using the same equipment as earlier, the same shovel that he decided to upgrade to. He he decides that it's a hopeless task and that he'll never be able to dig the hole. So he might as well just keep things the way they are and don't change the status quo. So that story is just to show you, <clears throat> you know, and I'll correlate how the brain actually works compared to that story. In the beginning, you're initially given no information about new topics. And so that's a big jump, a big hurdle for your mind to even, I guess, overcome. Or, you know, to tackle the task of where to even start. Anyway, after, you, after you've after formed your first neuron, or your first, I guess, your nucleus is starting to form a first, first bond with another nucleus around itself. And that's through, that you can't do that on its own. You can't just sit down on the couch and then deform these pathways. You're going to have to actually surround yourself with this kind of, the life that you want, the, or the task that you want to accomplish, and surround yourself with that. You got to put in the time. And then the, the, the neuron, the, sorry, the dendrites will form pathways for sure. 100% sure, actually. It's just how the brain actually works. Anyway, so taking that into account, now you, from starting off from a, a mental spoon, now you have a mental shovel, which over time will naturally progress into, and, and it would never, the next step up in line is, if you spend the time 
on to researching and preparing yourself for any task that you have at hand, you can create the equipment, the mental equipment that it takes to do the task. Before you know it, you have an excavator. A lot of people here, I guess a lot of people on earth, I would say, feel like they don't need to upgrade their equipment. And their equipment should be good enough for everybody and don't even, don't even think about telling me to upgrade my equipment. But then these same guys are the ones who aren't getting their goals done or the ones who aren't reaching their dreams or the ones who aren't, that their life isn't going the way they wanted it to go. And then they just say, well, I've already gone this far on this path. There's no way I can recover. And before you know it, they end up, you know, suffering, you know, into this lifestyle that's not happy for them or conducive to happiness. So I just want you guys to understand that analogy. Hopefully it actually makes sense in your life. This is just one example um, just to prove to you how the concept, you know, is sound. And yeah, hopefully this video is helpful for you and enjoy your day. Bye.